The Baycar Bayraktar Kizilelma and the Boeing MQ-28 Ghost Bat are both unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, that are currently in development for military use. Both aircraft are designed to be low observable, meaning they are difficult to detect by radar, and both are capable of carrying out autonomous missions using artificial intelligence. The Bayraktar Kizilelma, also known as the Red Apple, is being developed by the Turkish defense company Baycar as part of Project MIUS. It is a single-engine, low-observable, carrier-capable jet-powered UCAV. The first version of the Kizaloma is subsonic, but future versions will be supersonic with twin-engine configuration. The aircraft is designed with a low-radar cross-section, RCS, and is equipped with an AESA radar. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 6,000 kilograms and an operational altitude of 35,000 feet. The Kizilelma is also designed to be able to take off and land on an amphibious assault ship without the need for a catapult system. On the other hand, the MQ-28 Ghost Bat, developed by Boeing Australia, is also an unmanned aircraft that incorporates artificial intelligence and utilizes a modular mission package system. It is being developed as a force multiplier aircraft to support and protect manned aircraft such as the F-35A, F divided by a minus 18 F, E-7A, and KC-30A while they conduct operations. The Ghost Bat is designed to act as a loyal wingman that is controlled by a parent aircraft to accomplish tasks such as scouting or absorbing enemy fire if attacked. It also has the ability to operate independently. The Ghost Bat is expected to be introduced in 2024 to 25. Both aircraft have been specifically designed to support and protect manned aircraft during operations and have been equipped with cutting edge technologies to make them more effective in this role. The Bayraktar Kizilelma is being developed by Turkish defense company Baykar and is designed as a single-engine, low-observable, carrier-capable jet-powered UCAV. The aircraft is part of Project MIUS, Combatant Unmanned Aircraft System, and is expected to make its maiden flight in 2023. The Kizilelma is designed to have a maximum takeoff weight of 6,000 kilograms and an operational altitude of 10,500 meters and is capable of taking off and landing on an amphibious assault ship without the need for a catapult system. The aircraft is also equipped with an AESA radar and Canards Delta configuration for increased maneuverability. The Boeing MQ-28 Ghost Bat, on the other hand, is being developed by Boeing Australia for the Royal Australian Air Force, RAAF. It is a stealth, multi-role UCAV that incorporates artificial intelligence and uses a modular mission package system in the nose. The Ghost Bat is designed to act as a loyal wingman that can be controlled by a parent aircraft and can also operate independently. The aircraft is said to be the first combat aircraft designed and developed in Australia in over half a century. It is powered by a turbofan engine and is expected to have a range of 600 kilometers. One of the key similarities between the two aircraft is that they are both being developed as force multipliers, meaning they are designed to fly alongside manned aircraft to provide support and perform a variety of tasks such as reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and combat operations. On the other hand, the Ghost Bat is being developed specifically to support and protect manned Royal Australian Air Force RAAF, aircraft such as the F-35A, F divided by a minus 18 F, E-7A, and KC-30A, while they conduct operations. The Ghost Bat is also designed to act as a loyal wingman that is controlled by a parent aircraft to accomplish tasks such as scouting or absorbing enemy fire, and is capable of operating independently. In terms of performance, both aircraft are designed to fly at high altitudes. The Bayraktar Kizilelma has an operational altitude of 10,670 meters, 35,000 feet, while the Ghost Bat's operational altitude is not yet public. 
One of the main advantages of the Bayraktar Kizilelma is its carrier capability, which means it is designed to take off and land on an amphibious assault ship without the need for a catapult system. Additionally, the Kizilelma has a relatively high maximum takeoff weight of 6,000 kilograms, which allows it to carry a large payload. Both aircraft share similar characteristics such as artificial intelligence and stealth capabilities, but the Kizilelma has carrier capability which makes it more versatile. We choose Red Apple as a winner in this comparison. Better characteristics, more developed, and has more roles with greater carrier capacity. Thank you for watching.